I found my venue. I'm standing right outside my venue. This venue is called The Venue at Shadow Rock and it's about 15 minutes outside of Branson, Missouri. So I just wanna give you guys a tour, tell you why I love this venue so much, why I wanna get married here, and y'all are gonna die at how beautiful it is inside. And if you wanna get married here, I'm gonna be like linking it in the description and tagging it and everything so you guys can check it out yourself. But let's just go ahead and hop right into the tour because oh my gosh, so this is where the guests would enter. It's a big black door, it's literally gorgeous. So you walk into this room and this is where all of like the guest book and the gift table and all that would be. There's also a grand piano. Maybe we could talk Amy into playing some piano when people walk in. That would be cool. Um, and then right over here is the bridal suite. We'll start there. This is the bridal suite. This is obviously where I'd get ready with my bridesmaids. This is one of the prettiest bridal suites I've probably ever seen. Um, it's got all of these like lights. Everyone has an individual mirror, an individual chair, individual plug-ins, which is crazy because you know how it's going to be. It's going to be makeup. It's going to be doing our hair, all of that. And then there's couches to sit on. They've got this gorgeous rack that we can put our dresses on, which is going to be gorgeous and you can even see outside you can see the swing and she said that this mirror or what is this a window this window you can't see in but you can see out so that's really great for getting ready no one's gonna get a sneak peek and then there's even two more vanities over there and then we even have our private bathroom also there's this door that leads directly outside so I would be able to walk out and go down the sidewalk so no one's gonna get a little reveal on the way down before I'm ready love the bridal suite amazing lighting so I am planning to try to have the ceremony outside but if weather does not permit, they already have a whole separate area for the ceremony upstairs. And this is where it would be. All the chairs are already set up. Right now it's set up for about 150 people. So obviously plenty of room. Uh, and you can actually see outside as well. They've got this gorgeous, um, whatever you call this, backdrop to get married at and there's already sound set up inside. Obviously, I wanna get married outside, but this is very unique for a, a wedding place to have an indoor that's separate from where like the dance floor would be, so that's really cool because there's no takedown or setup, it's just ready to go. So now we're gonna kinda head downstairs and see the fun area. Also upstairs, there are two bathrooms, a women's and a men's bathroom, Then there's also gonna be bathrooms downstairs, so let's go. So this is the downstairs. Um, everything is gonna come how it is. We can obviously adjust where the tables are, but they have garland and all sorts of decorations. I can show you the, that closet in a second of decorations that we can just use for free. Love the chairs. They're like these uh, clear acrylic chairs. I think she said they're called ghost chairs. That's awesome. It's so pretty down here. I love the like modern look. So let's just kind of walk in here. This is where the dance floor would be. And then obviously they have like a little indoor bar over there. And then it looks like that would be like the sweetheart table, which I'd probably get a few more decorations for the sweetheart table. But this pretty much, we can reorganize the uh, tables, but that's what it would look like and then this is where the buffet catering food would be there's a kitchen in the back for them to set up but this is where you know the guests would be eating so that's pretty cool I just love how everything's like black industrial wood this is like how I wish my house would look so to get married here would be phenomenal amazing perfect and then kind of follow me back here we are gonna look at the bathrooms and the grooms oh let me go shut the door hold on this is where they keep all the decorations that I'm allowed to use it's just anyone who leaves decorations here or whatever all that's up for grabs, that's nice. Save me some money on decor. Um, and then there are two bathrooms down here, so we don't have to go all the way upstairs to go to the bathroom. And then I thought this was literally the coolest thing ever. It looks like a wall, and I was like, oh, is that like a picture wall? What's going on there? Nope, you press this button. And this is where the groom and the groomsmen would be getting ready. And it's such a dude's room. Like they've got foosball, it's dark in here, they can hang, there's a pull up bar, like what? <laughs> they can hang their, uh, whatever it's called, tuxes, suits here. They've got their own private bathroom as well. And then on the door to get in, they have darts. Should I do a darts real quick? Here, we'll go in here. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, now I see why there's, hold on, let me do that again. Oh no, hopefully I don't hit you. Oh, that was pretty good. I made it on, so I'll take it. But I already know the boys are gonna be doing that the whole time they get ready, so. That is the kitchen, obviously where the caterers could just leave the food. It's just like a warming kitchen, so there's no like microwave or anything. And then this is actually a like photography booth type of room. The photographer can come in, plug in, charge. They've got their own little mini fridge with some waters. So that's really awesome that they thought about that. And we can go ahead and head outside. 
And this is outside. I love the way they decorated this, the black, the wood. Obviously people can grab their food and come eat out here, grab their drinks and come sit out here. There are two little fire pits and of course we could have some dance party out here. Bring our sound system set up. It's gonna be awesome. And then I can show you where the ceremony is gonna be because it is so gorgeous. And even if it's a little chilly, depending on when we get married, I mean, you're only out here for a second, so it works. More seating over here. And I love this ceremony area because it has the doors. What do you call that? The presentation doors that can close for the bride. So I can come down when no one's looking and then pff, reveal. Yes, reveal door. And then that is where we would get married. I love the trees in the back. The evergreen trees are gorgeous. Um, and then everyone obviously sit there. And I love the way that they designed this. It's so cute and you can see it from inside. And then there's uh, multiple different backdrops that I can use. There's like an iron one down there, but it's hiding right now because there was a wedding that used this one. So I'd probably use that one. And like I said, they have so much decorations that I can use and stuff like that. So that's awesome. That's pretty much the venue. It's literally like my dream venue. So I'm really glad that I found it. The colors match my vibe perfectly and I just love it. So I am very, very excited to get married here. There is the swing that the bride and groom can take pictures on. It's so cute. I love it. You can get it with either that in the background, but most likely get this view over here and it's literally gorgeous. Just imagine me in my wedding dress with my fiance and we're just so cute. I can't wait. I love the modern, love the rust, not the rustic, what's it called? The industrial. So that's the venue.